focus on this year is scoring from quad pod. Now, one thing different from folk style and freestyle for you guys that never wrestled freestyle and folk style is if a guy is behind me and I'm in a quad pod, that's not a takedown. I gotta put a knee, an elbow, or a head to the ground. Okay? So if me and Reese, come here, Reese. If me and Reese are wrestling, say he ducks under. If he just ducks me, gets behind me, and I go here. In folk style, this is takedown. In freestyle, it's not. Greco, it's not. Okay? He's gotta get an elbow, a knee, or my head to the mat. So one thing we're gonna work on as a club this year is scoring when we're Reese. Okay? But one thing we gotta start doing is recognizing the opportunities to break this quad pod down. Now, continuing with our lock drills, all right, before we even start focusing on breaking this guy down, we're just gonna get our lock in nice and tight. And I want you to think about your laces on the back of their knees on either side. He's gotta give me a good, solid quad pod. Okay, I'm locking right there on the floater rib, not slip to one side or the other. Locking straight in, I'm just gonna start on one side. Okay, and I'm just hopping right here. Hopping side to side. Notice my lock isn't slipping. I'm just hopping side to side right here. And when we get used to running our gut wrenches and really getting that knee under and that shoulder drive, we'll get, we'll get real tight in there. It's gonna be real tough for that guy. Whether they're flat on the mat or whether they're in their quad pod. So partner, you're gonna be in your quad pod, you're gonna get their lock on top. Don't have your feet too far away from you. Get a good, solid position, okay? He's just gonna hop from side to side, okay? See how his laces are catching behind both my knees? Hopping side to side, and your focus is not to let your lock slip. Squeezing that lock down nice and tight. Five to each side, two sets, go. 